I want to be part of Ryan's life. And I want to help him understand where he came from. Easy to say now. Please, I'm begging you for another chance because I can't get him out of my head. And it's not Gil over leaving him as a baby. It's not that. I, I've moved on from that. I, it's Ryan. It's this lad, this man. He's... He is so funny and so sharp. He's got such a gob on him. And he is not what I expected at all, but he, he's just brilliant. He's perfect. Not that I can take any credit for that whatsoever. He is a good boy. There was a little terror growing up. As soon as he could walk, he was getting into trouble. Sounds like my Noah. I know you and me are really different. OK, you had a husband and a family and you've done the whole Sunday roast shebang and I'm not that sort of person. I'm never going to be. I'm not going to lie. But I try and do right by my kids every day. And so I'll try and do that with Ryan. I'll be a good influence and I'll be supportive and I'll be stable. But if you don't want to risk that, well, I'm not going to contact him without your blessing. If it was up to me, this would stay in the past. But you're in Ryan's head now. And he wants to get to know you too. So, for his sake, I will give you a chance. <laughs>